These pictures have been created by a human, right? But they are not, really not. Rather, they have been created by an artificial intelligence system which can also code, write and create these wonderful images. I want to show you a story which feels unique in our time in history. The story of how the organization which was only created 7 years back has taken the world by storm, brought artificial intelligence to the masses and is fundamentally reshaping the AI industry. The story is also about how right timing above everything else determines a company's success. Websites that use artificial intelligence to generate images. How far the technology has come in this point. Leaps and bounds. bounds. Yeah, always goes back. I want to show you how this happened where OpenAI, a young startup, opened the floodgates to AI and made it available for everyone to experience and use it. Our story starts off in 2015 when Elon Musk, Sam Altman, Greg Brockman and few others started OpenAI with the mission of bringing artificial general intelligence safely into this world. They started off as a non-profit but little did they know that the AI industry was going through a monumental shift. There have been three great technological revolutions so far in human history. The agriculture revolution, the industrial revolution, the computer revolution. Mm -hmm. um, I think we are now in the early innings of the AI revolution. And I expect that one to be bigger than all three previous ones put together. Um, thinking, understanding intelligence, like that really is what makes humans humans much more than our ability to get physical stuff done. I want to show this to you. And I've been really struggling about how should I boil this down? And I think there are broadly about three key things for you to know to understand how OpenAI brought AI to the masses. You have to understand what changed in AI over the last decade. You have to understand how OpenAI abstracted human creativity. And you need to also understand how it packaged the product brilliantly. So let's start with breaking down what changed over the last 10 years in AI. Like look at this graph, which shows the number of research papers published over the last 10 years. It is practically going parabolic. Or look at this graph, which shows the efficiency of algorithm before 2012 and after 2012. Like there is absolutely something that has changed over the last 10 years, which has caused everything to go parabolic. You can broadly boil the reasons down into three key things. The creation of better algorithms, increase in computational requirements, and jump in efficiency in working with languages. I know this sounds a bit vague, so let's try to understand each one of them a little bit more. Deep learning essentially is a new technique that we started using way back in 2012 that uses multi-layered neural nets and they turned out to be very good in non-linear tasks or simply recognizing patterns without direct correlation. How deep learning works is actually way beyond the scope of this video but understand three things that deep learning excels when there is a huge amount of data Deep learning is nothing but linear algebra having happening millions of times and currently most of the industry uses deep learning as their foundation while building AI systems. Jumping next to computational power. Better, let's look at what OpenAI has said on this topic. That since 2012, the amount of compute used in the largest AI training runs has been increasing exponentially with a roughly three and a half month doubling time. By comparison, Moore's law had a 18 month doubling period which means from 2012 to now, the amount of compute that is required has increased by more than 300,000 times. What it essentially means is that training the best algorithm would require a lot of money, but that will also give you substantially better results. Jumping to the last point, the jump in efficiency we saw working with language. For the longest period of time, the biggest problem we faced with AI was its lack of context. As algorithm took one word at a time, they had no idea what a sentence looked like. All of this changed with transformers. They are like a special kind of neural nets that can remember the overall context which meant we could get a lot better in tasks related to words and sentences. All of these three things, creation of better algorithms, increase in computational requirements, and jump in efficiency in working with languages, have brought in a golden era for artificial intelligence, which answers the question of what actually changed in AI over the last 10 years. Next on our list is to understand how OpenAI leveraged human creativity. It wasn't like OpenAI was the only company who could reap the benefits from the rapid growth in AI. So for them to come out on top required conscious effort on their side 
to build in this direction. While all the companies work toward using AI in improving their product, OpenAI's primary focus was to create generative models which could abstract human creativity. Let's talk about the biggest criticism that you hear against AGI not being created. It is that AI will not be able to do creative things. We always felt like this. We thought creativity is a combination of emotions, knowledge and a weird mix of serendipity which makes it a very human thing to do. But OpenAI proved all of us wrong. It took the very essence of what made us humans and abstracted it into machines. Even though we are surrounded by products which use artificial intelligence, we are never amused by it. But that was far from the case when we got our hands on GPT-3, DALI or Codex. It absolutely felt like magic. Nobody could have ever guessed what they were seeing was created by a machine. Like look at the reaction of these people when they see an AI generated image. Or look at the countless news articles or even more tweets describing how freakish and cool it is at the same time. What OpenAI has done with these generative model launches is ushered an interest about AI throughout the world. When everyone is trying it, talking about it and legislators are debating it. It's not like OpenAI stumbled upon a technological breakthrough. They just applied the technology available for everyone to use into an application which could capture the world's attention. Which brings us to the final item in our list, which is how OpenAI package their product. Generally, AI products are either meant for enterprises or created for internal use only. Like for example, TikTok, using AI for improving its recommendation to Google using AI to improve search results or AWS selling machine learning services to other companies. Which is why when OpenAI decided to make their services available for everyone to use both programmatically and through an interface further fueled more interest in AI. It's like giving power back to the people. So OpenAI represents one of the first company which is actually taking AI as a service to the mass market where its end user is everyone with an internet connection and anyone can decide to build a product on top of their APIs. This further increases adoption because now you can interact with AI not just in the way the other companies want you to, rather however you feel like, which makes people realize how real it is and also the fact that you can build products on top of it makes people experiment with it a lot more, which further generates more interest. So this is the moment where the three pieces of our puzzle come together, where OpenAI, a young startup who wants to create artificial general intelligence, got started in the right time. Seeing the latest trends, OpenAI realized that we already had plenty of data available on the internet as texts, images and code. So they decided to build products which would use text prompts as input and push off new media created by the machine itself, which converted AI from some far away object to one which was right in front of everyone. OpenAI managed to not only get the world talking about the imminent threat of an AGI, but also showed a direction in which we can use the power of AI in the right way. Which brings us to the end of this video. I hope you have liked the video. Let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts about it and be sure to subscribe to the channel to get many more videos like this.